Hi, in this tutorial I will guide you through the setup of the top referral campaign. In the first step you have to enter the basic details like campaign name, status, expiry date and landing page. Landing page is the page where user lands on clicking the referral link. Then user can be considered converted either through campaign participation or if he visits a specific page say thank you page of an e-commerce cart. So you have to enter the exact URL of the goal conversion page over here. Once done, you can update the same. Then click on the next to move on to the next step. In the customize widget step, you have to enter the pop-up description. The description that you enter, enter over here is the same that you can see on the pop-up. It, you can easily change this through the Visivig editor. You can either type it directly. You can even change the HTML source code like this. Or you can insert an image through the image icon or insert a link through the link icon. And once done, just click on update to update the same. Then you can configure the basic settings of the uh, referral button, the color and the text that you want to show. This is the referral button uh, which you, have, you, which you can con configure from there. The next step is the share text uh, configuration. So you have to select the 200 by 200 pixel Facebook share image which will appear in the feed and update the same. You can also change the Twitter, Facebook, title, Facebook description, etc. You can also change the email again through the Visivic editor. So there is an enrollment mail which you can set. And similarly, the friend invite mail can also be customized through the Visivic editor. You can also add terms and conditions uh, through uh, this section. Once you have updated the relevant information, you can move to the next step. Now, This is a very important step. Configure URLs for campaign. So here, suppose you I want to show the campaign on invitereferrals.com. So I will just copy paste exactly this URL from the browser and paste it in the URL section and then I, I can either select absolute or relative. Absolute means only this page will show uh, the referral widget and if I select relative it means that any URL which begins with this URL will have the widget. So suppose if you want to uh, set it in the entire category you can just select the base category URL and paste it over here or if say you want to show it only on a specific page then you have to select that URL, paste it over here and select absolute. Next you can either display both widget and pop-up or just the widget which is a button or just only the pop-up. You can also configure how many times the site visitor will see the pop-up. So suppose you don't want to irritate your customer much so you can show him pop-up only thrice and then the pop-up won't appear but it will still show the button from where it he can click and open the pop-up like this so he can click on the button and then open the pop-up click on submit and this URL is configured to show pop-up similarly you can add more URLs over here suppose I want to show it on pricing page as well so I'll just copy paste the URL paste it over here select absolute select I mean the settings again and click on submit I can remove any URL anytime through the delete icon or suppose I want to show the pop-up on entire site then I have selected this base URL and I select on relative and click on submit. 
so that's all so once integrated you can configure the pages to show the pop-up on through the admin console itself once the URLs are configured then comes the integration with website you can either use any of our popular plugins on OpenCart, PrestaShop, WordPress, Magento or Drupal and configure the brand ID and secret key in their module section or you can just copy paste this JavaScript code into the footer of your website just above the body tag once you are once you have integrated on the uh, website that is all you have to do and you should see the widget on your website now suppose if you want to change the configuration anytime just go into the my campaign section click on the edit campaign and you can again edit the campaign anytime and you can always go to the setup URL section to go to view the demo tutorial this is it for this sec uh, this section thank you